A war is raging in the United States. The casualties, little more than white noise to most, but earth-shattering to the unfortunate few. Police and criminals are the unlikely allies who wage this war. They fight against the law-abiding under color of authority. The law-abiding have little, if any, legal recourse. This is one of their battles. This is their war. There is an event commonly held in urban cities across America. Businesses, and in some cases the government, sponsor them with thousands of dollars in gift cards. They are logically called gun buybacks, as if the businesses offering gift cards and the government owned any of the guns to begin with. At gun buybacks, criminals are encouraged to surrender to police the guns they stole from law-abiding citizens, some of which may have been used to commit violent felonies. If you were a criminal, you declined such an invitation, fearing arrest, unless you are granted complete immunity, the foundation of buybacks. Immunity is not granted by prosecutors using proper legal procedure. It is granted by police, who quickly destroy the guns after a press viewing, rather than using them for evidence at trial, before returning them to the rightful owners. The law-abiding are baffled by police who swore a solemn oath would participate in this blatant scheme to let criminals get away with, in some cases, murder, by permanently depriving prosecutors of key evidence and the owners of their property. Police officers are not subject to a military chain of command nor a distinct justice system and do not face imprisonment for disobeying what they believe to be unlawful orders. Often appointed, unelected police chiefs, totally unaccountable to the public, order lower-ranking officers to participate in this scheme. Many may be beaten down by the politics their job retention requires, while others may relish the opportunity. Unfortunately, the blue wall of silence appears to be the reason why police do not publicly protest nor arrest their colleagues who give criminals virtual get-out-of-jail-free cards in the form of gun buybacks. <laughs> <laughs>